In this video we're going to work share a model, create a central file, and make local copies um, so multiple people can work on one project at a time in Revit. So to do that we're going to go to the Collaborate tab and we're going to click on Collaborate and in this um, instance we're going to work within our network so you can just click OK here and it's going to uh, divide the model into work sets so each piece will be placed on work set 1 which is the way that the central file um, coordinates um, people working on the same file and so once we do that we actually want to create the central file in a networked location so I'm going to go to file and save as project and I'm going to navigate to a network location. So I'm going to go to my computer, I'm going to go to the server, and go to the folder that I want to save it in. Um, <clears throat> I have a folder organization and this is just a recommendation. Um, I recommend that you have uh, subfolders um, where you can save links and different sorts of content for your Revit file. Um, so this is the one that I use. Um, you can use whatever you want. And then it's up to you if you want to put central on the end of this. Um, you don't have to. Um, so I'll just leave it as class 09 for right now. The important thing when you're um, sharing on our servers uh, that we would uh, like you to do is go to your options here and change the maximum backups from 20 to 3 and click OK and then click Save. And it's now saving this file up to the server and creating um, a central model. So it'll take it a second to save up there. And then um, once it's done, we have one more step and then we're going to close the model and open up a local file. So um, our last step, um, you can do this in multiple ways. If you close the file and relinquish all mine, it would be fine. But when I'm teaching, I like to go to the work sets and show you that it has these work, that everything is on work set one, the active work set. It's divided up the entire model into every individual piece and place them on work set one. It's also placed the shared levels and grids on work set one. You can create new work sets in here and place things on them if you want to divide them up. Um, if We can talk about that later. Um, but what we want to do is you can see that I'm the owner of both of the work sets and they're both editable. And what I want to do is release them so everybody can use them. So um, I'm just going to come in here and go to no and go to no and then click OK. And you'll see that nobody is owning or borrowing, which means everybody can kind of own or, or borrow. And click OK. And then um, you'll notice that we only have synchronize available because I'm in a central model right now. I can't save locally. It's only going to synchronize up to that, um, up to the server model. So I'm going to synchronize this, which is basically the same as save. And we'll talk about that a little bit more when we open up our local. So I'm going to go to synchronize now and basically saving the changes up to the server, right? And then I'm going to close this file. So that's the central model that we just created and saved it up to the server. And you'll see it right here, right? Um, and so now what we want to do is we want to open up a local copy and that local copy is going to save in a particular place on your machine. So I'm going to show you where that is before we do it. I'm going to go back and go to file and options here in Revit and under file locations is C Revit local files and that's the default path for user files and that's where it's going to save your local copies of central models. Um, I think the default is my documents. You can create your own folder. I might recommend that and browse to set that folder. Um, so I'm just going to click OK there. And I'm going to go to File and Open. And it's very important when you open up a local file that you open up Revit first and then go select the, the central model so if I single left click on it, you'll see it's going to create a new local. It knows it's a central file, so it's going to create a new local. The detach from central changes it back into a unshared Revit model. Um, but if I go to create new local, I can open it. And also, you can also open up um, work sets. So if you divide things into work sets, you can, for large projects, you can save time and open only one work set. But I'm just going to click open here. And it's going to make a copy of that file from the server down to my local machine and now it's connected over the network and if I go take a look at it 
Um, it looks very, very similar. Um, the thing you might notice is that when you pick things, you'll get this little work shared um, icon that comes up. And also if you pick something, you'll see that it's on work set one over here. So now I can work on my model. And then when I want to save or get changes from uh, people who have other local files and are working on that and are contributing to that central model. If you go to the collaborate, you'll notice we have a lot of stuff lit up here. Um, when you're working on the model and you want to save your changes up to central, you can synchronize with central. So again, you have synchronize and modify settings, or you have the synchronize now, which uses the modify settings to synchronize. Um, what Synchronize does is it saves all of your changes up to the central model, gets all of the changes that other people have made while you've been working, brings them down to you, and it saves locally at that path where we were just looking previously. So it does all of those things at once. The reload latest goes up to the central model and gets anything anybody else has done and brings it down to your file, and um, but doesn't save anything you've done up to the central model. The relinquish all mine, um, that if you're working on something um, or if you're closing without saving, you can relinquish anything that you might have control over and that will allow other people to use it. So if you close your file and it asks you to relinquish, relinquish because if you don't, whatever you have, no one else can work on it until you come back and relinquish it. So that's an important point. The save is available. If you click this, it will just save to your local area. Um, so I think we're getting pretty close. Um, so now you have your local um, version. Um, if I synchronize this guy, synchronize it. And now it's doing all of those things, saving locally and saving changes and getting changes that are back. Um, one other thing that um, I should mention is this work share monitor. It might take it a minute to come up. Um, let's give it a second. Um, is that will let you see who all is working on the file. If there are two people that are trying to work on the same thing, uh, say the, a wall or a window or something like that, Revit will um, the second person that tries to access it, Revit will say, you cannot access this. You have to request permission to act to um, to access this. And so if you're wondering who's working on the file, you can see these and you can, the person who is trying to get a hold of what you're working on can send an editing request and you can see your editing requests here. And you have also have notifications. Um, and you can communicate, you know, through the central model with somebody. Or if you're in the same room, you can just say, hey, sync, sync to central, I need to work on that wall. So Revit does a really good job of sort of keeping track of all of that um, and gives you ways of doing that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this guy and close this guy. And <clears throat> so what we have now is we have the central model, we have the original, right, that's just saved here. And there's a couple of different ways that you can open um, your local. Um, the quickest, the most, if you click on um, this central model, it will give you a message that says by opening the central model you will create a local copy of it. So it's going to create a copy of that central again and copy it down. And if you click OK, it's going to say you already have a copy, right? And so you can just overwrite that existing copy and that will work. And so the one thing you want to make sure of is that when it opens, that you have your username appended to it, right? Because that means it's your local copy. Do not go to the server and double click on the central model. Do not do that. That is sort of not good practice. Um, if I close this again another way, um, do not save the project. Um, you see here's the relinquish all elements. So I'm just going to relinquish because I don't want anybody to be locked out of them. Um, you can also go to model and open and if you do this, it will also do the same process, create new local. So you have to have Revit open first, basically. Um, and again, overwrite the existing copy and it copies it down. Um, so that's pretty much, pretty much it. Just make sure you're making a local copy 
either by those two methods or um, make sure that you don't double click on the central model to work on it because that will lock everybody out of it and mess up the synchronization.